guys, how's it going? This is me, Coop. I'm from sculptbeauty.com and you are watching my makeup tutorials. Now, today's look looks a little bit like this. Now, I'm wondering whether or not you could actually guess who this look is. I mean, I'm wearing my hoodie and I'm looking a little bit like a rude girl. So, um, that's a massive, massive hint for you. Well, I'm going to show you who I'm doing. And I will show you right here in my trusty iPad. And I have to hold it at a glance here. Here we go. Now, it does actually look a little bit, if you take a quick glance, it actually looks like pink, but it's actually Rihanna from the music video, uh, from Eminem's music video to his new song, um, Love The Way You Lie, featuring Rihanna. And Rihanna's in the video and she looks awesome, especially when the house is like, you know, in flames behind her. It is a great video, guys, and it is a long-awaited video by many, many people. I watched it last week and I thought, they've killed it because it's really really cool now the only difference between these two looks uh, the look that I've done and Rihanna in the video is the fact that because of all the light and the flames and um, the fire around her she looks more glowy than she actually is you could create that by really piling on the bronzer I have put bronze all over my face but you can put more if you like so this is quite a simple look though it doesn't look um, simple and I think with the video with all the fire burning everywhere and the flames and everything you know up in flames and the smoky eyes it's kind of clever okay so if you like this look watch on okay so we're gonna get started and as you can see I have already done one eye and the rest of my makeup now for this look you gotta remember we're going for the real smoky eyes but uh, we're only going to use one colour, okay, to create those smoky eyes and we're not going to put any eyeliner on or anything like that which is a little bit different to what we're used to in these tutorials. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that, it is quite easy. I have done the rest of my makeup and I've bronzed my face up as much as I can. I've put a, a nude lipstick colour on um, with plenty of lip gloss, okay. So in order to make this look work, and make sure you do all that. Okay, um, so we're going to get started and I'm going to start off with a cold pencil, right? Any cold pencil will do. I am uh, using one from Nordenberry. And basically what we're going to do is just go colour your eyelid in. Okay, now you can use a jumbo one. I just couldn't find mine this morning and then as it figured I thought... It might be pretty good to use a small one because if you see, I can get this right to the inner corner of my eye without making a mess, with, which could happen with the jumbo ones. Okay, so get that on your eye and very carefully smudge it out. Okay, now do this carefully and do it, when you're using your finger, use little, little strokes. Okay, seal. So you could see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to use my other hand. Okay, so it doesn't have to be very neat, but try not to get it really messy. Okay, so we're just covering our eyelid. And then what we do is get this and take it at the bottom of our eye. right very carefully right to the inner corner and just work it out a little towards the end okay, you might want to neaten this up okay there you go and then you get your cold pencil and I'm using another cold, cold pencil it's just the same one Lord and Berry and putting it in my waterline there you go Okay, so you have that at the moment. Okay, then you want to get your eyeshadow. I am using the Sculpt Beauty Natural Palette and we're going to use this color and we're gonna do our highlighter first. It's up to you if you wanna do your highlighter first or afterwards. I tend to do it first in this type of look purely because then we could just start blending um, the darker shade straight in. Okay, so pat this on your arch. So you'll apply most of the pigments there, blend it into the front, 
and just blend it down. Now you can use a matte highlighter as well. This one has a very, very slight shimmer. Now the brilliant, brilliant thing about this natural palette is it has all these type of shades, the, the slightest different tone as well, and then it has like a shimmer of, um, option as well, and it is absolutely, absolutely excellent. And for these looks, that you guys probably have noticed that I've been using it quite a lot. You just can't get away from it. I think everyone should have a natural palette. Okay, so I have that to that. Now I'm gonna go back into the natural palette and I've noticed when I've looked at um, Rihanna's eye makeup in this video, she doesn't actually, it's not actually very dark black. It's actually more of a transparent type black, uh, maybe even a gray. Now you gotta remember when these girls are getting their makeup done and then they stand behind, um, well in front of light to do these videos, um, the lighting takes 60% of their makeup away, right? So you guys kind of remember that. So it's probably lightened during the, you know, during the filming process, but it's probably the look that they're trying to achieve. These filmmakers are very clever, okay? So I am going to use this very dark gray down here and it has a shimmer tint to it and I'm I'm using the shimmer purely because it kind of gives that transparent look as well. Okay, so get that on your application brush and I'm going to show you how simple this is. How simple this technique is, right? Pat this color on your eyelid so you're covering your whole lid. Now try and tilt your head back or put your base on afterwards. I have um, not even safeguarded myself by putting powder on underneath um, because I'm using dark colours. Let's see if I create a mess. Okay, so I've coloured the top of my um, eyelid. Take this colour underneath and bring it out slightly. Okay, I'm going to show you in a minute. I just don't want any of this to fall on my cheeks. Then I have to spread it into my foundation and that's not a good look. Okay, so I've done that. Okay, now you want to start taking this colour out a bit. Okay. So do this gradually. Um, you don't want to kind of rush it and then look like a panda okay now with this look some people get it wrong because they're not patient enough and they end up looking like a panda so you know you don't want to look like you've got two black eyes you want to what you want do want it you want it to just look a bit um, just want it to be smoky and sultry kind of it's quite a sexy look okay so I've got that there Okay, so if you, as you can see, I've just taken it above my crease slightly. I'm not applying any more color, and I'm just bringing this color out and letting it fade into my highlighter. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Okay, so it's quite light. Okay, now I'm going to take my blending, blendy brush, which we all are familiar with. Put it back into the same colour and work your crease. Yeah, now you have, with, with a blending brush, you have a little more a control over where you're taking this colour and the way it's going to be blended in. Okay, so I'm going to show you. And believe it or not, guys, we are actually nearly finished. Okay, so then the rest is up to you, how far you want to take it and um, how much you want it blended in. Now, I'm trying to follow her, her exactly her video and I notice how she has a little bit more there and it does come up slightly, but it's still quite a faded line. Do you get me? It's, um, it's not it's not a prominent sharp line it's it's still quite a soft line okay so i've got just keep reapplying the color until you're happy 
Now I think I am quite happy with the colour that I have applied. Take the blending brush underneath as well because it kind of gives it a nice soft edge, okay? It kind of softens the lines that, you know, you've created by applying the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that, right? Now what I'm going to do is just take off the excess and just blend this line in furthermore. Okay. Seal. Oh, I think I've lost a bit here. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Let me show you guys. Okay, so that is my eyeshadow and that is it. How simple was that? Okay, um, now to finish this look off, I am wearing really long, I don't know if you can see, really long eyelashes. Okay, extra, extra long eyelashes and I will show you them. Now, I can't see Rihanna wearing um, eyeliner in this video on top of her eyelid, okay? And it doesn't look to me as if she is. But to be really honest, with all the black going on um, and the eyelashes, which are extra, extra long, you don't actually need them, okay? So it's up to you totally if you do want to wear them. I'm going to go and wear these and I will be right back. Hi guys, I'm back and I've got my eyelash on. I've also put my mascara on to hold my eyelashes up. Now, um, these eyelashes are great because they're quite thin um, and a natural texture, but they're very long. So I think they're perfect for this look. My glue hasn't actually dried properly yet, but I don't have the time that you guys will. Now, I'm just gonna go and show you the look again. And I always have to do this at, at a slant. Oh, because that, yeah, so that's our look. It does look darker on my iPad than um, it will when you look on, on screen. So um, check that out. So that was my look. I hope you liked it. If you do like it, there's a like button down here. But you need to be watching this on YouTube to see that like button. So watch it on YouTube. If you like the video, click like. Let me know. Give me some feedback. It's always great to have feedback. And I always appreciate your lovely comments and compliments that you guys give me. Um, also, if you are watching this on YouTube, there is a description on the drop-down box with um, all the details that you need to know to find out where everything's from skullbeauty.com forward slash shop is where you'll find the palettes the eyeshadows the contact lenses which are doing so well at the moment i did used to have a lot of people asking me where i get my contact lenses from what colors i wear and whatnot and now you can buy them straight from the skullbeauty.com website go check that out last but not least if you are on youtube and you have not subscribed to the channel what are you guys doing seriously what are you guys doing you need to subscribe to the channel don't miss out on all the good stuff that we have for you there is a subscribe button here you need to click like but you do need to be watching this on youtube to see that subscribe button if you're not go on youtube find the channel subscribe to the channel guys we have some great news coming this week the news that everyone's been um waiting for and the news that we've been telling everyone that is coming the Scott B team have been working really really hard um to do this for you so you don't want to miss out and you want to be the first people to know what it is about okay so if you love these tutorials and you love makeup and you love what i do then you need to be locked onto the channel okay if you are on facebook join the fan page on um, facebook.com forward slash Scott Beauty and also follow us on Twitter. Um, if you follow us on Twitter, you find out what we do literally all day and every day and it's, it is quite fun, right? So twitter.com forward slash Scott Beauty. My name is Osmia Cube. You are watching scottbeauty.com and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I will be bringing you another one in two days time. I will see you then. See you later.